Amazing fight, amazing night. Walk me through that knockout. Uh, just, you know, uh, through the six rounds, I was just trying to figure him out, uh, catch his, uh, his range and see how hard he hit. And, um, uh, just him, I knew he was going to run into something because he wanted to, you know what I mean, uh, his focus was to throw everything hard, so. He tried to throw his brick hand, I think, and I just moved out the way and just caught him running in. Where do you rate his power? Uh, he, he, he definitely got power. He got power. Thank you, Ronnie Duncan from Fox 29 in Philadelphia, right here. Where? Right here. Oh, <laughs> man. When you think about this fight, we saw maturity in you. Yeah. Throughout the whole buildup. And then the way you fought. Talk to us about the patience you had in that ring and how you set him up because, see, a lot of people don't give you that boxing IQ, but I do. Mm. You set him up for that shot. Yeah. I mean, just, you know what I mean? He, I, I seen that. Um, that's the whole, even when we weighed in, I knew that I could out, like, outthink him easily. You know what I mean? So I knew that I wasn't going to, um, you know, outbox him, but it was, I thought I was going to, you know, um, not knock him out, but wind up stopping him in the late rounds. But, um he ran into the shot. He ran into the shot. Radio Raheem. Uh, Roley's already... Well, yeah. Right here, right here. Oh, my bad. Uh, Roley feels like he won every round and is already calling for the rematch. What's your reaction to that? Hey. <laughs> I don't know, man. Shout out to him. Did he give you any trouble in this fight? Was there anything about his style that was difficult? No. I think I need to start warming up more, though, before the fight. So I won't, I could be already, like, really warm when I get into the fight. Because it was like, I was going into the fight a little cold. Even though we was working out, but I think I need to be, like, more, like, do some, like, jump roping or something. Because I had to warm myself up before I can actually, like, get in the groove. Stephen Cudeno, KO Art of Sports Tank, right here. Congratulations. Uh, Thank you. It seemed like you, this part of the strategy was you were kind of on the outside of the ring a lot, letting him come in to punches. Was that part of the plan? Was to let his aggression be uh, his downfall? Uh, yeah. Basically, I was just, you know, um, I knew that he was strong off the off the uh, first punch he threw. You know what I mean? Uh, like he said, I do start slow, so um, he caught me with a shot, and I was like, yeah, I got to, you know what I mean, stay out of the way. But I knew that down the line, down the stretch, I was going to break him down just off of the way he was fighting and his footwork, you know what I mean, so. Coach Collins, did you execute the plan the way you wanted Everything. We already seen his footwork was garbage. If you listen to Showtime's... Um, Coach's corner, you can hear the things. He was falling in a lot, you know what I'm saying? And you can hear me telling the tank, throw straight punches. You know, so you just breaking them down, just breaking them down. You know, I told you, tank can get you from 1 to 12. You can't make no mistakes. Gervonta, I'm back over here at Marcos Viegas, Fight Hub. Hey, uh, I don't know, I, I think it was one of the middle rounds. Uh, we saw you do like a, a hand motion. Um, yeah, I don't know why. Everybody keeps saying that. Nah, my hand. Yeah, yeah, but I I didn't hurt my hand not one time in this fight. Okay, not one and time. The second question is, uh, uh, do you feel that Roley's a lot better than what everyone expected him to be in this fight? No. <laughs> Why not? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Javante, what's going on, man? Najee from Cigar Talk. Um, tonight was, like, packed, man. Like, this was, they said this was the most packed and the, the biggest gate since in 40 fights or something like that. Just talk about, you know, the love that you got from New York City and kind of the energy in the building. Like, did you feel that? Like, how did it feel to kind of receive that energy and that love? Um, first of all, I want to say thank, thank you to everybody that came out. You know what I mean? I'm definitely uh, appreciative for them coming out. Um, 
it meant a lot, you know, just coming back to um, the Barclays Center and I fought here. You know, I won my first title here and just to, you know what I mean, I knew that coming into the fight, um, Baltimore was going to come up here and I got a lot of fan base in, uh, in uh, New York and just to see them show out was amazing. You know what I mean? I think that um, I didn't just win tonight. I think the whole, you know what I mean, as a whole, we won to, tonight. Devante, Mark Hamilton Fight Sports. You kind of laughed off a rematch. Uh, so you don't think he deserves a rematch? You want to go somewhere else? Who else? Who? What are you looking for to do next? Uh, I don't think people deserve a rematch if, if uh, they get knocked out like that. But not not trying to be funny, but um, if it was a good fight leading up to the, uh, the knockout, then like down the line, like if it was like the ninth round or tenth round and... You know what I mean? Somehow somebody caught him with a good shot, but it was, it was, I think it was probably, I was one there on the scorecards, I believe. Um, I start warming up as the fight was going on, and I don't think it's a re- I, 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 we need a rematch, but I'm all is, and, um, you know, if anybody else want to fight me at 135, I really, I was talking about 130, but I real, I feel comfortable at 135, so. Javante, uh, congrats, man, on the knockout. Well, right here, right here. Uh, oh my bad. No, no, you're good. Congrats. Thank uh, you. How's it feel? You've won a lot of big fights, title fights, but how's it feel to win a fight like this, where it was so personal, and there's a lot of pride and, and bragging rights on the line tonight? Uh, I I don't think it was personal for me. It was just, it was fun. You know what I mean? At first, it was personal. I mean, well, I took it personal, but I I think that you know um. It's a part of the sport of boxing, you know what I mean? I, I realized that, and that's when I start, you know, um, having fun with it. You know what I mean? I was just taking it so much personal, you know what I mean? If you see me, see the, uh, you know, the press conference, I was always laughing. I wasn't never, he was the serious one, you know what I mean? When, when we was, like, face-to-face and stuff, stuff like that, but I just took it, like, regular. And I always, like try to do stuff that I always do like on a day to day basis. You know what I mean? Leading up to the fight or just us doing press conference. So it it won't like make me feel like I'm in like a war or something like that. So I think that's you know, that play a big part. I mean I'm good. I got the victory. <laughs> I mean Yeah. My question to you, at what point did you figure him out, that you figured out? And were you surprised that that left hook you threw was going to, you know, knock him out? Uh, I was figuring him out through the, um, uh, through the rounds. But I feel, I feel as though uh, I was going to eventually break him down. So that was my main goal, to make him chase me around a little bit, start picking shots, start going to the body. But I knew that I was, when, 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 I started faking them out with my eyes. That's when I knew that I had them. And, you know what I mean, the shot that I threw, it wasn't really hard. It wasn't my hardest, like, punch I could have threw. It was just right on the money. I caught him coming in. You know what I mean? And I knew he was he was going to come in eventually because he wanted to hit me so hard. You know what I mean? And I just got out the way at the same time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank y'all for coming out too.